Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. Fatty liver is a major epidemic worldwide. In the U.S. alone, 20 to 40 percent of the population has some form of fatty liver, and most of these conditions are undetectable. The way that they will detect it will be from another type of test, like an MRI, a CAT scan, an ultrasound, or even routine blood work of your liver. Now, fatty liver is linked directly to insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and obesity. But if this condition is not addressed, it will progress to more serious liver problems and other health problems. So let's review the most common things that can cause your fatty liver. All obesity carries one thing, chronic inflammation. So taking weight off in itself will be a great asset in correcting this problem. Even if you are a normal weight, but carrying around excessive belly fat, this means that you are viscerally obese, meaning carrying around too much fat around your waist. Insulin resistance and high insulin levels has been shown to increase liver fat storage in people with type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome. Frequent intake of refined carbs will increase fat storage in your liver. Your sodas, your high fructose drinks will drive liver fat accumulation. Your intestinal flora is majorly important because all healing stems from our gut. Prebiotics as well as probiotics can be a great asset to prevent these problems from occurring. You might not realize that you have a fatty liver but there are some signs and symptoms indicating that you might, like fatigue and weakness, feeling fullness in the right or center abdominal area, elevated liver enzymes, elevated insulin levels, and elevated triglyceride levels. So you're probably asking, how do I get rid of this fatty liver? Well, the first thing is you need to cut out those sugars. Excess sugar gets converted into fat. You must stop overeating. The excess of calories is going to lead to a fatty liver. Decrease those fructose-rich foods and beverages. Low-carb diets are healthy in reducing this fatty liver. Eating good fats, like your monounsaturated fats, will help this problem. Your nuts, your avocados, olive oil. Adding whey protein has been shown to reduce liver fat by up to 20% in obese women. This will help lower liver enzyme levels. And there are many growing studies showing the effect of green tea on the prevention and management of fatty liver. Green tea has hepato and anti-obesity effects, which are attributed to the bioactive compounds such as the polyphenols. And green tea shows various bioactivities such as antioxidant, anti-inflammation, anti-diabetic, anti-obesity, anti-cancer, and cardiovascular protection. Green tea effectively inhibits lipid accumulation, decreases hyperglycemia, improves dyslipidemia, and decreases elevated enzyme activity. And green tea has the most abundant catechin called epigallocatechin gallate. And epigallocatechin 3 gallate helps prevent cell damage in the liver as it reduces the formation of free radicals, protecting the cells and molecules from further damage. Increase your soluble fiber. This will reduce liver fat, decrease liver enzyme levels, and increase insulin sensitivity. There are several supplements that will help the liver to repair. Milk thistle or silymarin is an herb known for its liver protecting effects. Make sure you're taking omega-3 fatty acids. Fish oil will reduce that liver fat. Taking turmeric is a powerful liver protector and even a liver cell regenerator. And last but not least is dandelion root. Stimulates bowel flow from the liver and helps fight fatty liver. If you're a coffee drinker, drinking two cups of coffee a day can do miracles for your liver. It has major antioxidants and is known to reduce fibrosis. So number one, you must lose weight. Two, you need to cut out the sugar. You need to eat well, lots of fruits and vegetables, lots of water, and lots of healthy exercise. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Please share this with your friends and family. Leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.